Now let's take a look at working with target cameras. So I've got a little bit, a little scene quickly set up here, a number of capsules and a floor. Just group those together as a single object. Um, and let's pretend that this capsule, series of capsules is a snake or some sort of an alligator. And what we want to do is animate uh, a camera jumping over it so that we're looking at, at it and and jumping over it at the same time. Okay, so let's go to a sort of a side view. Uh, let's say we want to start right here. I'm going to make my target camera. Okay, so notice the target camera is just placed in the screen, uh, in our scene, at no particular location. It's just placed uh, in, the, in the scene. So the first thing I probably want to do is set up my target so that it's on my snake or alligator or whatever this is. And then I want to place my camera so that it's somewhere outside of that. So I don't know, let us look through our camera. Let's assume we've just walked up on this and what we want to do now is we're going to approach it slowly, we're going to hop over it, and the, the whole time we'll be looking at our, at our object. This is something that the target camera is really good for. All right, so give us some more time on our timeline, let's say 200 frames. Um, by frame 60, I want to be jumping over, and by frame 100, I want to be on the other side, and then by the end, I'm going to be looking back and stepping backwards. All right, so we'll set a keyframe on our camera at frame zero. I'm going to turn on automatic keyframing, go to frame 60, and we're just going to approach our object and we're going to take a quick gander at it, just a few frames, maybe looking, moving around, trying to decide if we're going to what we're going to do, are we going to jump over it, or are we going to... Yeah, let's jump over it. I'm going to move it forward a little bit. Now here's where the end of my jump is going to happen. So quickly, I'm going to rotate myself around so that I'm on the other side. We'll see how that looks in between. Okay, so now we're getting too close to it, so in the center, we want to make sure as we're right over the top, we want to make sure we're zoomed out about the same distance as we were before. So it looks like we are hopping over. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe up a little bit. So we're really jumped up in the air. It's scaring us to death. And we're going to take another quick look at our snake. And I'm just using option in the middle mouse button to do this back and forth motion like this, and the uh, right mouse button and option to zoom in and out. So let's say back here, frame 180, I'm going to zoom out, take a look at our snake from a distance. Okay, turn off the auto keyframing, let's see how that looks. Okay, so it needs a little bit of work. I think that one frame um, is a little too far over, so I'm going to go back to this one, turn the keyframing back on, and move it back just a tad more so it's not so crazy. Look at it again. So just a quick idea for how you might use uh, a target camera. Um, one other thing you might want to do is animate the target itself. And so let's say once you've, let's say before you've looked at it, you're going to walk up here. Uh, I'll put a keyframe on the target. And before we jump, we're going to look down the tail of the object over here for a keyframe. And then while we're jumping, we're going to look back at the head. So I'm copying, holding control, moving it over. 
see what that does. Okay. So hopefully this is giving you an idea uh, for the possibilities of using a target camera.